The last day of school before the start of summer vacation, usually an exciting and joyous occasion. But for some students and staff in Flint, today's send off was bittersweet. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for tuning in tonight. I'm Bill Harris. Teachers at Bunch and Summerfield Elementary Schools, as well as both middle schools, said goodbye to their students one last time. Those buildings will close at the end of the summer as part of the school board's plan to close a $19 million shortfall. NBC 25's Jane Park joining us live outside of Bunch Elementary. Jane, describe for us the mood after school that out today. Well, Bill, as you can imagine, lots of hugs exchanged, some tears shed. Now, the teachers and students here at Bunch have known for weeks their school would close, but they said that didn't make today any easier. And the empty hallways and desks, just another reminder, today was a final goodbye. Pack it up. Principal Diane Wright patrols the hallways, not to catch wayward students, but to make sure her teachers are coming along with their packing. School's out for the summer, and for Bunch, that means doors are closing for good. It hit me on the way out today that it was like, these are the last time I'm going to give these babies their hugs. Bunch is one of four Flint schools board members voted last month to close as part of their move to avoid a $19 million deficit. Students will be reassigned for the fall and the anticipation of change helped cut through the bittersweet emotions. Miss May, what school are you going to? What school are you going to? Um, can we transfer? Can we go to that school? And I was like, well, you want to try your new school first and see. On this last day, teachers stayed overtime, stowing away their memories and supplies. Mrs. Morris, how's it going? Principal Wright has seen a few school closings during her 28 year career. It was easy to accept because I realized that they only did it because it was necessary at this time. After just two years at Bunch, she's sad to leave her students and colleagues but remains optimistic. I believe in Flint Community Schools. I'm just looking forward to a better future. And that's how Melissa Wade got through the day, encouraging her kids to embrace the change at their new schools. Look forward to your new adventure. And we will be watching for you in the making all kinds of positive news. Even if they won't be down the hallway next year. Now the bunch students will be reassigned next year to either Brownell, Bryant or Dort Elementary Schools. And none of the teachers I spoke with will lose their jobs. But this is part of a plan that lays off 238 teachers and 262 additional staff members, all because of the financial reality the district is facing. Live in Flint, Jane Park, NBC 25. Bill. Thank you, Jane. Sad reality, the economy today.